Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a La Palma Cumbre Vieja Volcanic Eruption Update. Tuesday, October 26 at 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. We're looking at the main two vents currently erupting on La Palma and lots of activity updates, and we're about to get to them. Now, according to the most recent updates, dramatic and rapid ground uplift. And now this has actually been occurring over the last 18 to 24 hours, while surface activity calmed down temporarily. And this has to do with potentially a lull in seismic activity. Let's read what they have to say. Compared to yesterday, the visible activity at the vents has decreased somewhat today. Only one of the vents seem to now produce pulsating lava fountains, and an ash plume has been rising approximately 2 to 2.5 kilometers today. Surface lava flow activity near the vents has decreased a lot as well. Last evening, following hours of intense activity from at least four vents, parts of the western crater walls at the vents collapsed and gave way to short-lived floods of lava on the slopes of the cone. Whether or not the visible decrease is caused by a decrease of magma supply at the moment remains unknown. One factor to consider is that such larger reconfigurations at the vent create new conditions so that the arriving magma might more easily find new ways to enter the existing or create new lava tubes and remain hidden from direct view. However, it is likely that currently, indeed, less magma is reaching the surface, and indeed it is. And we will show you more of the volcano live right before we get to uh, some of the updates here. We will get to more of the live in just a moment. And you can see there is at least two vents active currently. This is a departure from five vents the other day. Now, if we come over to the Seismo histogram, the huge uptick in Seismo was uh, two and three days ago here, a precipitous drop off today. Um, and we can see that here on the quakes versus depth. So for a period of about 12 hours, very few quakes happening. Back here, we were having 250 quakes an hour. And here we were having less than 100 quakes an hour. And we can get some current earthquake data uh, in just a moment, but let's also cover that inflation. So here are the six tiltimeters on the island. The one down here in the bottom left is the one closest to the eruption site. And if we go look at the nearest data point, most tiltimeters are still decreasing here and here. Over here, it's going down. The tiltimeters here are decreasing. And here, a little bit of an uptick, but closest to the volcano, uh, we had a peak here about a week and a half ago, and they've been dropping precipitously from the draining of the magma. But yesterday, the newest data point, and let's take a look at that, is way up here. An increase in almost 140 millimeters. That's 14 centimeters. So, hello. Huge uptick in uplift at the uh, near the eruption site on the tiltimeter. That could be mean, meaning that a lot of lava is being placed near the local eruption site. Now, the, the, lo the uh, latest ash emission is showing 10,000 feet um, and the aviation color code red. Now, let's look at the most recent earthquakes in the last 24 hours. I just clicked on earthquakes. I'm going to click on past 24 hours to get the most recent data. And here it is showing... 101 quakes in the last 24 hours, a reduction of over 100%. 24 hours ago, there was 250 quakes an hour, and now 24 hours later, there is much less. There is 101 quakes per hour. The largest quakes today have been a 4.7 and a 4.6, respectively, and Bushcraft Bear has felt them all. If you want live updates from what's happening moment to moment on the island, Come over to a Bushcraft Bear's Twitter page and follow him there because he is tweeting out live when earthquakes happen. Here you see 44 minutes ago, a 4.6 magnitude happened. He said a strong one, and then he reports on the data. So if you want the most up-to-date data on what's happening on the island, Bushcraft Bear is living there currently. So check out his tweeter. And let's get back to the live eruption as we end out the video.
beautiful, very, very typical Strombolian activity from a cinder cone effusive eruption like we're witnessing right now on La Palma. There's the histogram on the top right showing the drop off in seismic activity today. So we'll keep a close eye on that. But we have to worry about what does that inflation mean moving forward? Will there be a bigger lava episode? Will there be a new vent? You can see seismic tremor here. It's been pretty stable. Slightly moving up. Hope you got something out of the video. Check out Bushcraft Bear. Who lives, I think, in the Wally down there by Los Lanos. For up-to-date, live updates on his Twitter, Twitter account, he will tweet you live when he feels a rumble. And that's a boom. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. When we're watching La Palma 24-7 for your benefit. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. If you haven't subscribed to Oppenheimer Ranch Project, please click the link below.